In this video, we'll balance the equation for CH3COOH plus CaCO3. That's acetic or ethanoic acid plus calcium carbonate. Now you might see acetic acid written like this. It's the same thing, just a little bit organized differently. The acetic acid, the COOH, this is a carboxylic acid. So sometimes they like to write it like this to show you that. You may even see it written like this as well. They're all the same thing, same number of atoms in each one. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one carbon, plus we have the one carbon here, plus don't forget this one carbon here. So you have three carbon atoms. Hydrogens, you have three plus the one here. So you have four carbon atoms. Oxygens, one, two, plus the three. So you have a total of five of the oxygen atoms and then just one calcium. So it's a little bit of work to count these up, but you have to be very careful. On this side of the equation, it's even a little bit more work because we have two of everything in parentheses here. So we have one carbon, two carbons, so two times two, that's four carbons, plus this carbon here, five total carbons. For the hydrogens, we have two times three, that's six plus the two in water. So we have eight hydrogens. Oxygens, one, two times two, that's four, plus we have two here, and then one in the oxygen, that gives us six, seven, and then just one calcium. Let's see what we can do. I think what I'll do first is I'll put a two as my coefficient in front of this acetic acid here. That should balance the carbons because I'll have two times the one, two, that'd be four plus one, that would be five. That might also fix some other things. So it looks like if we put a two here, we have to update all this information again. So let's do that. So now we have one, two carbons and this two, it applies to everything. So two times two is four plus the one carbon here and the calcium carbonate, five. So that's good. We have hydrogens, we have three, four. So four times the two, that gives us the eight. So those are balanced. Let's see what happens with the oxygens. We have one, two. So two times two is four plus the three here. That is seven and we're done. That's really all we needed to do is put a two in front of the acetic acid. What makes this such a challenging equation to balance is you've got to count up all the atoms and there's a lot of different things going on here. But if you're careful, once you do that, pretty easy to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH3COOH plus CaCO3, acetic or ethanoic acid plus calcium carbonate. Thanks for watching.